so actually won't talk to the slide. Let's go ahead and look at the schedule real quick. I got some updates. Uh, this year was last year's feedback was to decrease the uh, welcome time. So thanks to Ben Form, we we've got uh, previous years captured on video. I sent a link out. Hope you got that. Uh, so if you're new and feel short change, definitely check out that video. If you're old, you'll appreciate me yammering up. A couple things on the schedule. First of all, for any of you giving a talk, not a workshop, but a talk on Friday or Saturday, would you be willing to switch your shifts? Marcel's Mr. Plain, and her slot was for 2.30 today. Any, anybody volunteer before I have to go pick on people? Stop for. No, she still wants to give it. Unfortunately, she'll be in tonight at 5:30. Mm -hmm. She's probably frustrated. Yes, very much so. No volunteers, okay? I'll come and tap somebody. Who wants to switch the talk to somebody else because she's not here? Yeah, she must reply. So, she's scheduled for today. So if anybody's talking on Friday or Saturday. Think about it and let me know. Otherwise, I'll, I'll probably come and strong warm somebody. I'll get in when they help me. <laughs> Let's see, the other, some, oh, there's a typo. Uh, the workshop uh, tonight, I recall, 7.30. Uh, we're asking, um, no, it's not tonight, it's that. It's Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night, 7.30. Paul Grattan can't do two things at once, so he's doing the week de demo and making games on his, uh, so scratch out Paul and making a game song to James. Mary and Ted, the nice sharp dressed man that helped you with registration. Everybody got pins? No, I don't Which one is he doing? 7.30, making a game song. Making game songs when you've got a Tuesday? Yeah. So that's James, and uh, Paul is doing the week demo. Unfortunately, those at the same time, I apologize, we just ran out of slots. While you have your printed program out, the inside front cover, there's a nice spot to write your name and other info for when you do lose this, because you will, like me. Okay, you can, but I will. So when you find mine, please return it. <laughs> if you don't put your name in it, then that means you don't want it back. And me and Dan won't be upset. The guys will lay it out. So make sure you go ahead and draw in that info. And the other nice thing, too, is sometimes you take notes on your insert schedule, is put your name there as well. Okay. So we're going over schedule changes. Charlie, was there anything that we, we missed. Um, I think prayer meetings are all three mornings. So Every morning? Yeah, yeah. it was just one morning there. Okay. I didn't capture it. Yes. And there'll be a midnight prayer session. Not quite midnight, but it starts at 11.30. Are we going to be locked out of the expo at midnight every night? We'll find out shortly. They're, they're looking at that. Okay. Uh, there's also a need to be badge, badge holders. So if anyone has a car and preferably knows the area, Office Depot has them. So maybe at the lunch break, do I have a volunteer to run and get those? I have a car if someone wants to drive it, but I want to drive it. Big car. Let's do that. Yeah. So uh, Edwin's volunteering. You can take my car for a minivan. I've got a little camera. So we'll, we'll work that out. Thank you. So maybe at the lunch time. Thank you. And then, yeah, also on the insert, so it's, uh, sometimes we get last minute changes from the university. So location one is this room, L121. There should be a spot for you to write that. Do you have your program there? If you didn't get a program, make sure you hit the registration table. I should have grabbed a few extras. And then uh, location two, 
is just the expo area, which is above the cafeteria. You can put an expo. The location three is also the expo area? No location three. Hopefully there isn't. It says location three is expo. Number three on the map. Oh, location yeah. two Building for three. us. Yeah. So we're able to save some money by only having two locations. Uh, go ahead and take a quick look through the schedule. I won't go through it in detail. You can read at it at your leisure, but if you spot a question, go ahead and, and shout that out. What's this year's Twitter handle? Her Twitter tag? Um, the account is CGDC News. Um, but I like to put the year, so CGGC 2014. If you've got room, put both. So, 
Yeah, you know, before the great. So it was the ARPANET, right? Or DARPA? <laughs> that was the internet. Somewhere in there. Anyway, so you can take a look. There's a lot of folks, even some, some shipping titles, Saints of Virtue was shipping. Uh, all the old wisdom tree stuff. No one knew about any, anybody. So, hey, let's, what about a conference? So, anybody a ChristianDev.com member? This is what it used to look like. Christian coders. Christian coders. Prior to set it up. So back in June of 2002, we posted and said, hey, anybody come to a conference if we have one? And uh, people said they would. So uh, the other seed that helped, let's see. So interest was shown. Two months we got the word out. Hey, surely 10 people will show up. We'll have some nice discussion times, eat some cake. Uh, and sure enough, God brought a little bit more than that. 30 folks showed up in 2002. Yeah. Didn't get hey, so God. Glory to him. <laughs> Didn't get everybody in the picture, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, that was our logo for the year and, and also a t-shirt. Um, everyone enjoyed it, wanted to do another one. So in 2003, we had even more. Uh, first three years, I think, was at the Cascade, not too far from here. Uh, 2004, also at Cascade. You'll see a very different t-shirt design. This year, that year was at Cascade, and you'll see some really skinny people at Charlie Down on bottom left, <laughs> Seth bottom right. Peter Turnus is on our board, he's bottom left next to Charlie. There's Clint, somewhere, oh, about fourth up. Now, he's lost some hair since this picture, right? <laughs> That's just his logo. That's his logo only. He's throwing me off. Yeah. So, I think, was, was that the year? One year we had five. Five continents represented that year. Yeah. We're doing pretty good this year, too. 2006, still no group picture for 2006. If anyone's got some old camera, that thing called film, 35 millimeter, get those developed. We didn't do a group picture that year. We may not have. That was my first year, so we, I'm sure we did. And it's your fault. Oh, it is, because I'm going to advocate for it because I didn't feel like I had to get there. Now we put it on the schedule to remind us because people get disorganized and we don't point fingers at me. But we like to eat though, this is proof. 2007, um, Max Ponich, am I saying that right? Ponich. Ponich, he did that logo. And this is here at Concordia. There's some little kids that are now huge. <laughs> This was back at Cascade. Yes. Um, breakout logo. This was here at Concordia. This is Seth back from the airport. He was like, you gotta all wear the shirts. Okay. Uh, winter retreat, thanks to Laureen. We had that at uh, Fire Rock Ranch. There's Jeff Spicer. You have to check out his Kickstarter. It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if I should donate or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Should we really encourage epic failure? I don't know. <laughs> Check it out. Fail faster. <laughs> and, and there again, we're eating. You see a theme. If you go away hungry, it's your own fault. Or you're very picky. About 2010, uh, cool logo. Uh, Concordia. Yeah! 2011 was New Bird. Uh, George Fox. University. And that's the first year of the standardized logo, which, by the way, makes it easy to order the right number of shirts. And if you're over, you can use them next year. It's great. Um, 2012. It looks like a That's a lawnmower. Double scroller. Is it a double scroller? And it's supposed to come a little bit today, I think. Yeah. Um, Looks like 2000. Well, there's 2013. Why does it say 2013? Yeah, I'm the doctor for 2014. So that was last year. We had Timmy, you actually from New Zealand, insert there. He's, well, we're going to try to get him on Skype. He's, he's a dude. Where's the. Yeah, there's the Skype. 
I know, I know. We'll just fix that later. I think we're going to need a hammer. Where's my, where's my help? Well, there it is. Why isn't that showing up? So, 2014, we've got to have you. So, there's a couple slots on schedule for group picture. So, definitely make yourself available. So, folks, I like to ask about the vision. We want to glorify God. Not only here at the conference, but when you return home, I want you to be encouraged. Um, be salt and light for Jesus wherever you're at. Be active in your local church, and that's just so you can be strong physically, uh, spiritually, and be that salt and light. So we do want to reach out to every type of game. If you know people, please get the word out. On the registration table are some cards, business cards with the logo and information website. Grab a hundred of those. If you're flying, fifty. If you're driving, two hundred. Hand them out, put them on bulletin boards, give them to your mailman. Never. Mission, threefold, bring Christians involved in gave them out, together in fellowship, provide a chance to discuss topics, pray, pray for God to bless all aspects, including uh, food, home, food, shelter. Uh, some of those trying this full time, that's not easy. Purpose. We are an international community of Christians with diverse interests in the game process. We want to glorify God, all aspects of the game industry. And thankfully there are Christians in the game industry. They just don't know about the company. The nice thing is icing on the cake is when you can actually be working on a Bible-based game. Uh, but this conference is for everyone. We definitely want to hear your insights. Uh, the very first year was basically three speeches and the rest were discussion groups. Uh, there's no discussion groups this time, but during their fellowship time, you can definitely do that. Any questions on any of that? I, I know it was fast. How are we doing on time? Okay. Seth, we had skinny pictures of you. Oh, <laughs> You were taller then, too. Were they sanctioned? I hope you guys realize that by coming to the conference, you allow yourself to be photographed and video recorded, with one exception, uh, the women's breakout session. They don't want to share. <laughs> no boys allowed. No boys allowed. So, uh, maybe if I can get a good outfit, they won't know. <laughs> you have to shave your legs, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I think the legs are the most concerned as far as shape. Oh, we're jeans. <laughs> okay, now that you had a chance to look over, any questions on the schedule or program? Should we walk through the schedule? Cut the highlights. Oh. 